What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today we're gonna to talk about commutators in my new series called Cube Theory 101. Now, I've had a lot of people ask about commutators and I was gonna do another video where I was gonna talk a lot about commutators, but I realized, you know, I've never really explained what a commutator is, and so I thought we would start off this new series about cube theory and uh, basic concepts and cubing. Uh, and we're going to start with commutators, which is something a lot of people are confused by. And uh, it's actually a really super useful uh, kind of technique in creating your own algorithms. So let's talk about commutators. By the end of the video, you should know what a commutator is, how to come up with your own commutators, and maybe a couple easy ones. All right, guys, let's get started. So to start, we should probably talk about exactly what a commutator is. What's the definition of a commutator? So a commutator is kind of like an algorithm which follows a certain form. And the form is, is it has a sub-algorithm, we'll call that algorithm one, followed by doing algorithm two. And then you have to undo algorithm one and then undo algorithm two. So that's the form of a commutator. So we can come up with a super easy commutator. Let's do right that's algorithm number one, and then algorithm number two is gonna be left. Okay, so now what are we gonna do? We have to undo algorithm one, so that would be right inverted, and we're gonna undo algorithm two, which is gonna be left inverted. And it's gonna leave the entire cube untouched. That's probably the most useless algorithm you can come up with. Using a commutator, it'll keep the entire cube untouched except for the pieces that intersect between the two algorithms. And you can see the, alg the first algorithm I did was right, and right inverted and we did left and left inverted and none of those pieces intersected so it was a completely useless algorithm so now let's do a commutator where the pieces actually do intersect so let's do this algorithm uh, let's do right to and now we're going to do up to and so we can see that this group here has intersected so now we have to undo the first algorithm so that's right to and we can undo the second algorithm up to and now we can see the only thing that has been affected are the pieces that were that were intersecting. So we can see this group was intersecting this group and this group, and that's it. So that's basically our commutator, and the rest of the cube is untouched. So we came up with a, an algorithm that did something uh, very specific. So let's undo that, and now let's try a new commutator. So here's a, a super useful commutator that's really easy. Let's do this one. Let's do right inverted, down inverted, right. That's algorithm number one. Algorithm number two, we're gonna do up inverted. So now we have to undo algorithm number one, right? And so that was right inverted, uh, down, right. And then we have to undo algorithm number two, so that's gonna be an up. And all we've done now is we've only affected these three corners and nothing else is affected. So everything else is untouched. So that's a super useful and easy algorithm. All we've done is cycled these three corners and left the whole cube untouched using a very intuitive uh, algorithm that we just came up with on the spot using this form of a commutator. That one we kind of moved pieces around, we did a cycle. Now we can do another algorithm, another commutator that's gonna just orient corners. So that's really easy too. So here's another one we can do. So if our algorithm is right, down, right, down inverted, right inverted, down, right, we can see that this piece is oriented, right? And nothing else in the top layer has been affected. So now if we turn the top layer, let's say up inverted, and we undo the first layer, first algorithm, it'll fix everything and it's gonna orient this corner in the opposite direction. That's super useful, right? So let's do that. Let's right, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right. And it, fi it fix everything on the bottom layers and we can fix, undo our algorithm number two, which will be up. And you can see we've oriented this corner, we've twisted it and we've twisted that one. Super useful, right? So the way you look at a commutator is basically you do one algorithm. So let's twist this corner, right? And then you turn uh, a layer and then you undo the algorithm. And then you undo the twist. So that's kind of how you can come up with these commutators that are pretty useful. And uh, they're very intuitive 
and that's how you can really solve a Rubik's Cube intuitively. So we can move corners around and orient them. That's great. So can we do the same for edges? Guess what? We can. So let's start with a super easy uh, three cycle with edges that we can do. So here's a commutator we can do. So let's uh, move the front layer down. Then we'll do the right layer inverted and we'll do a front inverted. So that's algorithm number one. Algorithm number two, let's do a M slice. So we're gonna put this edge in this edge's place. So now these two edges have intersected and we can undo the first algorithm. So that's front, right, front inverted. Then we undo the second algorithm, which was our M slice. We put that back up and we've done a three cycle with the edges. We've just moved our edges around. So here's another commutator I want to show you guys. Let's uh, try to flip this edge in this center slice and nothing else. So we're going to flip it. Then we can move our center slice. That'll be algorithm number two. And then undo algorithm number one, which will flip this edge. And undo uh, algorithm number two, which will put it back. And it should fix everything but switch these two edges. So here we go. Let's try it. So if we can just flip this edge, so how can we flip this edge without affecting anything else in the middle layer? So uh, let's try this. Let's do an up inverted, right inverted, up, right. Then we're going to do a front, right inverted, and then front inverted. So just using intuition, I was able to flip this edge. Perfect. So now I can do a middle slice layer and put this one in its place. And now we're gonna undo everything I just did. So we can undo the algorithm number one. So to undo it, now I'm gonna pull it down this way. So I'll do a front, right, front inverted, right inverted. And now I'm gonna do an up inverted, right, up. And that flipped that edge. And now we undo algorithm number two, which is gonna be an M slice. And look at that, we flipped these two edges using commutators. So there we go, we've come up with four commutators and we've done the four hard things with the Rubik's Cube. We were able to uh, permute corners, orient corners. We were able to permute edges and orient edges. And really to solve a Rubik's Cube, those are the four things you have to do. And we came up with four commutators to do those things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on commutators and on cube theory. I know it was uh, kind of a, a lot of information real quick. I hope you guys understood it uh, and I hope you guys can use that to your advantage uh, when coming up with your own algorithms for other puzzles as well as kind of making patterns on some other cubes. So anyway, thanks guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and that's it. All right guys, have a great day.